Well, my name's S. Rob, and I have just contacted the Vatican. That's right. That's right. I was bored. We're all on lockdown. We're all none of us can get out. So I was thinking, what can I do? I was getting bored. So I contacted the Vatican again. I actually, was contacted the Pope. Now you won't realise, but the last couple of times I contacted the Vatican, I got like be the classy demons sent. They seem to be like different. Like some of them look like alien like. So I thought, well, good. I'll have that again. Because the first time I contacted the Vatican News, I mean, I'm not saying this, it might not be the Vatican, it could be that, that uh, Lucifer or aliens are basically spying on the Vatican. The first time it was the Vatican News and they were a bit alien looking like, but more, you know, the thing that was in my bedroom and those were very weird, the long story that I put into my, uh, uh, some of the books at the time, you know, basically, uh, I was supposed to die but didn't because I'm not going to, you know, it's like, come on, really? There's only like 15 or something. Come on, I've, I've summoned thousands of demons at different times. Thousands of fucking demons. And like 15 of them going around with their asses, Hanging out, not knowing what the hell they're going to do. It's, it's just pathetic. Yeah, and that was when I contacted them about inventing humanic possession. A method whereby a person can possess the devil or any devil or demon. And I thought that was a good idea because we basically won the unwinnable war. Because supposedly this terrible war against... Uh, you know, good and evil, and that's how we get free will. Well, I figured it out. If I can possess the devil, that means we control the evil, we've won. And we can't have no free will because we're still in the middle and we've still got the good. We've basically won the unwinnable war. Congratulations, a nice pat on the back, I've won. And I was expecting, you know, there might be a little prize. Not be a prize, I said it'd be nice, but maybe a letter of congratulations from the Pope. But there wasn't, instead I got like this curse. Which was good because it broke up the monotony because I was getting bored. Okay. And then there was a second time. The second time what I did was I actually created uh, a subject of occult escapology. But I, this time I, I did a variation of occult escapology, humanic possession, which is the name of a book. And humanic possession is when you possess a person possesses a devil. But I used it with occult escapology to get a bit more power. And occult escapology is escapology used within occultism. I'm actually a member of a society for escapologists, so it, you know, it was all done properly using police handcuffs. And so I thought, great, at this time I found an, an internal Vatican email. And the guy talked a little bit, and again I got a much higher level of curse this time, because I was getting closer. And at that point in time, because I also got men in black, there was two men in black in the lake following people around and stuff. Uh, which was nice, you know, it's nice to be wanted, isn't it, let's be honest, you know. Uh, and I thought I wouldn't do it again, but I'm bored. And I did it again this time I contacted the Pope, Pope Francis, so I don't know if I'm going to get anything back. But come on, come on people, this is good. I've contacted the Pope. And I told him his email may be uh, hacked by the devil. But I'm, I, this is the Pope. I got it last time, I got it the last two times. They've got to send another one. Now at this time I did say something last night. And it was like some sort of a shadow demon, which was like a very low level thing. Probably a classier version of it, but you know... That isn't what I want, I don't want the one. If, if you're out there, the Pope and the Vatican, don't waste my time with one. Send all of them. I'm bored. Because we're all getting bored, we need something to play with. I'm not saying that you should necessarily do this or, or contact the Vatican. But you know, if you want to, it, the email's there, you can find it, it's not difficult. And then um, we can see what happens, can't we? Because, you know, play with the Vatican. So... Uh, I'll hopefully be able to keep you updated a bit, but it'll probably just go all to hell at some point. Probably several weeks in the future it'll just go ape shit. And you know, if you're not on my time man, you won't know what's going on. But you know. Oh, I also contacted the Dalai Lama. Because I know his philosophy is different. I thought, wouldn't it be nice if I gave the Dalai Lama the opportunity to pass a message on to the demons that could be controlled by the Vatican. Let's be honest, there's a lot of dodgy shit linked with humanity, you know what I mean? Linked with Christianity. I mean, you look at it, I mean... It's like, they're admitting that 5% of the priests are paedophiles, you know, that's high, you know what I mean? If you were looking at, like, uh, cleaners, you wouldn't think 5% of them were paedophiles, you, you, it'd be way off, it'd be, like, practically none, you know what I mean? So they're admitting to 5% and they're that rich, and they are that rich. Pope, richest man in the world, basically. That how many is that? It's probably more like there's 5% of the man, you know what I mean? So they're into some dodgy shit, so we'll see what happens. But I thought it'd be good. The demons appear, the aliens appear and say, oh, by the way, the Dalai Lama said to say hello. I thought that would be nice. Well, my name's S. Rob. I hope you have a great time. 
I'm signing off now. Bye.